Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. It's me Ravi here. In this project, I'm going to show you how to create your own notepad using AWT, Event, and IO operations. That is, we're going to use file operations, especially byte stream. So we're going to use file input stream, data input stream, and uh, along with the frame and action listener. So first, uh, this is my package name, that is mini projects. Earlier we have done two projects that is on traffic signal simulation and uh, brick breaker game. If you have not watched that video, do watch those videos also. So here uh, I'm going to import uh, AWT, AWT event and IO. So uh, th this is the class which extends frame and implements action listener and these are all my variables and I'm going to create a um, so uh, for uh, basically to create a notepad, you see this, there is a title and this is a menu bar, right? In that we have few items like this. So we're going to exactly create a f uh, this kind of menu bar and we're going to have um, open and save. So two operations we're going to perform. So where you can open existing notepad file and you can read the text or you can type some text and you can save that one in your PC. So this is what we're gonna perform basically. Okay, so for that uh, I have um, I'm gonna use text area. That is, um, you can type the text you want uh, and menu, menu item, and menu bar. Okay, and this is uh, you see this uh, a constructor, and I'm gonna have uh, all these things like in 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 menu it it should show a file and menu item. Uh, these are the items uh, as I have shown you that uh, this is menu and if I click on that these are the items it should show So over here it is going to show new open save and exit Okay, I'm gonna add all these things into my file and I'm gonna add all the uh, event uh, listener to that and here I have uh, specified uh, for example uh, This is let's say this is RK notepad and uh, This is the size of that frame and the location and uh, set menu bar okay so and uh, using uh, windows listener um, i have uh, if i'm trying to close it it is going to so this is an interface and um, i've just written system.exit zero so which means that whenever i close it is going to exit exit and action performed within this i have got two actions right one is either we are going to open an existing notepad file that is a text file uh, or you can have got one more thing that is we can uh, type something and can save that one so if I'm trying to open it if my option is to open then I have uh, used try catch block to handle exception and there is uh, something called file dialog class which means that it is going to show something like this if I click for example if I click save this dialog is going to appear okay this is a file dialog and um, so that is uh, so it, so this operation is to open an existing file and which is going to load into that and I'm gonna get the directory set visible true and uh, so uh, I'm gonna use file input stream uh, to read the file basically and uh, data input stream so file input stream will give you the exact file name and its uh, location data input stream is used to you know uh, read the data within that file so initially the, these things we have already seen in the you know file concepts and I have set initially empty and I'm gonna use a loop a while loop and I have kept read line which means that it is going to read the complete file and um, so until it is null and once if it is uh, read and it is going to display the message here I mean the whole text in this text area which is defined here right text area yeah so this is what fine and if my option is to save that means that I should type something right so again I'm using file dialog so it is going to uh, do save and uh, set visible true so for this is the text area so which I'm which I can type something and whatever I type it is going to uh, store it as a uh, string and uh, get directory uh, same as uh, the previous one and here I'm gonna use file output stream um, to save my file basically and 
which means that I'm going to write something on the file, right? And data output stream. So data output stream will just write whatever the things you have typed in that file. And I'm going to use write pipes, so txt. So which is going to uh, store everything into this, right? Then finally I have closed it. So if there is an exception, it is going to then exit. So over here, the main class main method, I have created just an object uh, for the class and set visible true. So so this is how the program uh, flow is. I'm going to run this program. Let's understand this better. Mm, run file. Yeah, you see this. The name is RK Notepad. And uh, first, let's type something. And uh, welcome to RK. Okay, so I'm gonna save this one in desktop in the name. Uh, let's say okay, somewhere. Demo dot txt and let's check it. Yeah, it is there. Demo dot txt. The file got created and uh, let's try to open a file. I will cut this. I'm trying to open the same file. That is demo. This is the file which we have created just now and so you can read like this. So we have used uh, streams concepts here, especially byte streams. And if I try to open some other file, even uh, I'm, I'm, so, this is about new, and uh, I'm gonna open, uh, for example, yeah, let's say this IBM. You see this? You can read everything. Fine. So this is how. If I put exit, I'll exit. So hope you understood this. Uh, I have given the code um, a link in the description box. Um, do check the source code. Do download the source code and practice all these things. And do let me know if there is any requirements or uh, uh, even if there is any feedback. Do let me know in the comment section. Hope you like this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. Thank you and thanks for watching the video.